Southeast Asia Films presents The Children. And the bear. Once upon a time, in a zoo in the far north, there lived an unhappy bear. He was a very angry bear. His keeper gave him little to eat, and he treated him cruelly. Boys and girls came to look in through the cage. We're so sorry for the bear, they said. We wish he could escape from his keeper. One day, the bear broke out of his cage. Everyone was excited and frightened. But the cruel keeper was the most excited and frightened of them all. The bear chased him all over the zoo. And finally he caught him and ate him up. Hurrah, the children shouted. Let's make friends with the bear, a big girl said. A little boy reached out to pat him. And suddenly there wasn't any little boy anymore. thought it would be fun to dance with the bear. Then suddenly there wasn't any little girl anymore. But the bear was much fatter. The big girl thought the bear was very handsome. That bear would never hurt anyone, she told the other children. I'd like to be his girlfriend. The big girl listened to the bear's sly talk, but some of the others grew suspicious. Some of us aren't here anymore, one child said, and I don't trust that old bear. He's been growing a very fat stomach.
and he's been getting his fat stomach from eating children. If any children have been eaten, it's only because they wanted to be the big girl, told everyone who'd listened to her. he's become since he became strong and fat, some thought. What clever tricks he does. Children who tried to dance with the bear always disappeared and the bear grew fatter and fatter. Others were wiser. When they were asked to dance, they said, no, thank you. Two little brothers had been sleepy. I have a bear friend who likes children, the big girl told them. When I grow up, I want to be big and strong like a bear, one of the brothers said. Will you play bear hug with me? Yes, let's dance, the bear replied. And the trusting boy disappeared into the bear's fat stomach. Some of the bravest children fought the bear with sticks. It had been too late to help the boy who'd been eaten up but at least his sad little brother had been saved. Two little girls had been sleeping. What happened, they asked. A friend of yours just came to my free lunch room. Will you take me to your free lunch room? the bear said. Once again, a fight with little sticks. A little girl's hat was all that was left. Fighting a bear is dangerous. 
but it's even worse for those who disappear inside a bear's stomach. When I'm dancing, when I dance, won't you come a little closer? The bear sang to the big girl. Maybe I will, she replied. Come closer, come closer. I don't eat big girls like you, the bear told her. I just like to hug them. Some of the children got together for a meeting to try to think up a way to protect themselves. The bear was too quick to run away from. He was too big to be frightened away with little sticks. What could they do? What good were little sticks? They weren't big enough for frightening off a fierce bear. Finally, the children thought of a plan. Why not tie the little sticks together and make a great Seto club? It was too big for any one child to lift by himself. But when everyone lifted together, it was easy. Don't, don't hit me you bullies, the bear cried. That big Seto club was strong enough to break a bear's bones. Now that the children had that big club, the bear decided he would stay at a safe distance. And that is the end of the story.